What's good, YouTube? I'm Lenny, and he's Carl, and hey. this is Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4 Part 5, and we just got done buying some new clothes here yes, to we did. go on our dates with Michelle, which we missed because our needy cousin was getting beat up some by some Albanians, so now we gotta go finish that date that we never went on. This is actually a whole night ahead. And the radio station we will be listening to right now is The Vibe. Which is my favorite. Really? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. What's one song they play on The Vibe? Uh, uh, I can't listen. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> call me out, jeez. <laughs> all right, so we're almost to Michelle's place here. There's actually a tutorial. There's a giant tutorial with a ton of loading screens when you activate this mission. And but we cut all that out because we, we, we were looking out for you. Yeah, you, you don't want to see that. It's, it's really boring and actually very pointless. <laughs> so we cut all that out and it's just going to go straight to the mission cutscene. It's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Yeah, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh, you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> So, the fun fair, great. Do you like the fun fair? I love the fun fair. <laughs> That's wrong with the fun fair, right? Uh -huh. Actually, spoiler alert, we won't be going to the fun fair. Oh. Just gonna have to wait another time. <laughs> Yeah. Get himself into a lot of trouble. Disappointed? I am. I'm disappointed, man. My heart is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fun fair. They're actually like doing some construction on the fun fair or something. So we're gonna go bowling. And who doesn't like to bowl, right? It's the only one thing better than the fun fair. Yeah. Of course. The only thing better than the fun fair. <laughs> and actually, um, there's another hidden weapon on the way to uh, the bowling alley that we're gonna pick and. We're gonna pick up for you, show you where it's at. It's actually more Molotovs, so by the end of this video, we're gonna have six Molotovs. And uh, for your uses. Actually, every time you go bowling, if you go to the these this bowling alley that is right over here um, in was Firefly Projects, I think. If there's, uh, you can always grab those Molotovs because it's right next to the bowling alley on the way. So, yes, one quick thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, if you're wondering why some of our videos are in HD and some of them aren't, uh, we're just having troubles that, of late, actually, the videos, any video that's going to be, uh, over 15 minutes long is probably not going to be in HD, so, sorry about that, guys. Just a heads up. Yeah, so, if you... I'm wondering why the video is in HD isn't in HD. It's probably because it's over 15 with. minutes long. But uh, anything so under 15 minutes is yeah, going to really make it HD for you. And there's the Molotovs I'm gonna pick up right there. You see them glowing. I kind of had trouble walking because it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> going to the fun fair in the middle of the night, or actually the bowling alley. And there's the memorable uh, logo for the uh, Memory Lanes bowling alley there. Uh, bowling is actually pretty easy in this game. I, I find it pretty easy. I'm, you're actually going to see me bowl a perfect game, actually. But it's only it's only going to let us uh, bowl half of the game, so it's a perfect half game. Near perfect. 150. Half perfect. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's perfect, so 
Yeah. Except me. Except for you. Of course. <laughs> so, two uh, side steps. my method of bowling here is just when, as soon as you get the ball, you just take two steps to the left, and then, uh, to bowl, you have to, uh, use the right analog stick for the Xbox. I'm playing on the Xbox, because I don't know what the controls are for the PS3, so... And, because Xbox is so much better than PS3. <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta throw a uh, in here. Michelle sucks, of course. I throw, uh... <laughs> because he's a chick. <laughs> Not I... to be sexist. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna skip her turn, except for that time, and I think the last time, so you can, so you don't have to watch her suck. All right, now, uh, you have to pull back on the right analog stick and then push forward, and that's how you uh, bowl. And if you pull back pretty fast and then just kind of ease it up, like maybe like wait a second and then ease it up, you don't need the ball to go very fast to get a strike. I found. So you see, I get a strike every time. Here. Which is also an achievement. To yeah. Get a turkey. Yeah, this so. is humid or a trophy for all you PS3 noobs out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Gobble Gobble achievement, where I just got a turkey there. So. I already have the achievement, though, because I'm just the boss of bowling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the you always get that ball there, uh, even though there's always a bunch of other balls in the like rack there. <laughs> you always get the same ball, so Nico's just a little picky, I guess. And strike again. And boom goes down, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So yes, bowling, fun with Michelle. Yes, it's my personal favorite sport. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh yes. What's your highest bowling score? Without bumpers. 115. Without bumpers. See, I keep track, and it's 115. <laughs> really? Really? I don't even know you did bowl. Well, it says I bowl on random occasions on when random I'm occasions. just really bored. Uh, you have to be pretty bored to go bowling. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> Not too. Like, last resort. We can go bowling. <laughs> that sounds cool. Let's go. Not too friendly to you bowlers out there. <laughs> you know what? I don't get why bowling is on ESPN. Because so it's so entertaining. <laughs> It's like, I'd rather watch pool or billiard, billiards on ESPN rather than bowling. Billiards. Billiards, I didn't know. Which I is also known as pool. Yeah, I called it pool the first time. <laughs> uh, there's the logo again, you see uh, Memory Lane's logo. Oh, gutter, Michelle. So there's my perf near perfect 150 game there, caught on tape. <laughs> and her 33. <laughs> <laughs> she sucks. <laughs> Alright, now we got to uh, walk. You can actually grab the uh, Molotovs. I think they'll respawn, so then you can. I could have gotten nine Molotovs by the end of this, but I didn't. It didn't come in mind. Actually, uh, fun fact Michelle drives a Merit, that's her car. And uh, the uh, default radio for the uh, Merit is the Classics radio station, so that's why the Classics was playing when we got into the Merit. It's not like Michelle likes the Classics or anything, that's just the default radio station for the Merit. The Classics is my favorite radio station. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> So after this uh, mission is done, Michelle will periodically call you to go on dates, and you can call her too, but I don't think we're going to be doing any of that because you don't need to date her at all to get 100% on this game. You only need uh, to do activities with three people, which I believe are Packy, uh, Brucey, and little Jacob. So, so there's probably three Liberty people City, to do activities about? with, which we haven't met any of those guys yet in this Let's Play. Not yet, but soon. 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 Very soon. So now we're driving back to Michelle's apartment after this wonderful bowling activity. Which is surprisingly clean, because she is a cleanaholic, apparently. Cleanaholic? Yes. Cleanly person? Very cleanly person? Yes. I guess. I, I, I don't think it's very, I could date a cleanaholic, because I am slob myself. It's very suspicious, you know. <laughs> still has tags. I would hate to have tags on all my furniture and stuff, you know? And or clothes. And or clothes. <laughs> That would suck to have to walk around with tags on your clothes. I, I wanna watch that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that would just suck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would just die. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about 
<laughs> Still. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. And a quick thing here is, if you want to uh, keep your car, when you go into this mission, if you go into the marker, I think your car will uh, disappear. But if you want to keep it, you just park your uh, car across the street before you activate the mission like I did and then just run into the mission. And it will spawn your car right behind the Merit when you uh, drive up, so then you can do what we did here. And uh, as you hear, or if you can hear, the weasel news just popped on the car, and sometimes that's pretty interesting. So. We're <laughs> going to. It's always interesting. <laughs> yeah, so you can listen to that as the video ends anyway. This has been Carroy, and we will see you in part six. See you. Sounds great. In Willis, I'm Eric House. Weasel News. The first drive through Botox clinic has opened in Los Santos. Customers simply talk into the speaker and drive to the window where a stoned high school dropout will stab poison into your face, removing wrinkles and saving marriages. In traffic and transit, no major problems, except for a couple of jackknife trucks with people on fire. Weasel News. This is Weasel News.